But this is exciting news in Arena Tour? This is exciting, man. It's exciting to be back. How have you been? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah? I can't complain. Yeah, but I'm here to talk about you. Oh, this, this I was what... here to talk about you. No, that's the other show. That's your show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I want to know about this. Well, I mean, I know you do stand-up, but arenas? Yeah, I'm excited, man. Um, you you know like, how many cities are you doing? Are you just doing... Well, right now we have 28 cities scheduled, and then uh, we're going to be working up from there, um, trying to find more cities. More I'd like The funny thing about announcing a tour is that you'd be like, 28 cities announced, and then everyone's like, what about my city? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but these are the ones that have been announced. They're like, yeah, but you didn't say mine. And I'm like, yeah, there's many cities. <laughs> yes. These are the ones I'm doing right now. Right now, these are the ones that are... And yeah. they're like, yeah, but I'm, where's my city? <laughs> yeah, you, we'll, we'll get to your city. You're but right. do you like going to all these? And... I love it, man. I, I love traveling around America. I, I've been to all 50 states. I've been to hundreds of cities. I'm somewhere different every single weekend. You know what I love most is that you get to learn America. So you get to travel the country and you learn about people, you learn about the places. Like I was in Rochester, New York. Oh, yeah. And when you're in Rochester, New York, it doesn't seem like a, uh, like a glamorous place. You know, you don't, you don't think there's anything special, but you read the history, and it was like the home of the suffragette movement. Uh, Frederick Douglass lived there, the famous abolitionist. Yeah. Um, it was a safe haven for slaves that had escaped slavery in the South. They'd come up using the Underground Railroad. They'd get there, they'd get them on boats, get them to Canada, and these people would live free. And that, that was insane for me to find out, because wow. I was like, how did they convince black people to get back on boats? That's like, <laughs> just mind-boggling. <laughs> You can't tell me that was a smooth process every single time. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, they uh, yeah, You have they, to be hella convincing, Jimmy. <laughs> you would have to be, yeah. You guys, it's 2018 and black people, we still don't mess with water. You like, really like... don't, no, you really don't. No, that's not one of your favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I love traveling, because, like, I learn things that I've been everywhere. The but Andy Warhol Museum in one city, you go... Sure. It's just learning America is what I enjoy. But how about outside of America, when you go... Because you, you've done, you've done different yeah. continents. You've done, I mean, how, how do people react to you differently? Is well, if I, if I have a free weekend, I'll go to, like, Sweden or Denmark. And then you could, like, the flight is almost as long as going to L.A. People don't realize that. So you just pop over the other way, and then it's like, right. like it's other L.A. Just think of it that way. And then, uh, and, <laughs> and it's cool. You know what's great is, like, people laugh all over the world, all right? Yeah. Um, I think the only difference is how audiences heckle you. That's what I find. Oh, really? So, like, I find if you go to, like, England, if you're not careful, yeah, you see already getting heckled. <laughs> You see, they're ready to go. See, the UK's ready to go. Like, they're... they'll heckle... Like, I've wanted to cry on stage in the UK. Because you'll get on stage, and then you'll say something, and then someone in the audience will have a funnier joke than yours heckling you. <laughs> so you'll be like, you know what's strange about the UK? They'll be like, yeah, you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, That's pretty good. Whereas what I love is Amer in America, I find people are like... It's like the most, uh, like, encouraging heckling. So, like, w one time I was telling a joke, and I paused for effect. And there was just complete silence. And then one guy shouted, he's like, you can do it, Trevor! <laughs> <laughs> totally it's like inspiring. You, it's inspiring. It's takes, inspiring. It takes you right out of your act. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about the new Netflix special. This is uh, Son of Patricia. Yes. Uh, where'd the name come from? I'm assuming mom. Right, but the name originally came from... So my mom and I grew up as a team. My mom is, like, mo the most gangster human being you'll ever meet. She's, a, like, a beautiful black woman who just didn't take crap from anybody. And what I loved is how she, like, how she raised me and how she spoke to me. So my mom would always say to me, whenever I was angry with her, my mom would, like, I'd look at her and I'd be like, Mom, mm, mm, and I couldn't, like, I didn't, like, throw tantrums, because yeah. I wasn't white, right? So... <laughs> no, so I couldn't, like, throw tantrums. I could just, like, look at her, like, like with that eye in your... Like, you got that look in your eye that's like, Oh, if I could control the, the earth, you would be gone. Like, that type <laughs> of thing. Really? Yeah. And then she'd look at me and she'd, like, say it. Say it. And I'll be like, say what? And she's like, say it. Your mom is a bitch. And I'll be like, I'll be like, what? And she'd be like, that's right. You're a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd like flip it on me. <laughs> and so that's like the thing we always say to each other. And then I wanted to call my special that. And then people were like, I don't think anyone will understand it. So, so I was like, son of Patricia. Because my mom is Patricia. <laughs> but she knows what it she really knows means. It is, mom. My mom knows. She gets the shout out. Mom knows. Here's the loving mom. Look at how cool. Aww. That's us. That's amazing. That's the team right there. Uh, I know you, your, your book, uh, congrats on, uh, I think the last time, or the last two times you came out, you told me you, you released your book. Uh, right, right. And story. They, it's been amazing, man. Thank you for the support. Thank you to everyone who's gone out They're and bought it. They're making it into a movie. They are, man. Making it into a movie. What which is, is Yeah, so which is, cool. I, I mean, I never dreamed that would happen. And... Who's playing your mom? Lupita Nyong'o is playing my mom. <laughs> which is... <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. Wow! So, that is fantastic. Yeah, and it's, fu it's funny. She was actually on the set of Black Panther when she was reading my book. And then she called me and she said, Hey, I want to be your mom. And I said, I'm sorry, what? Hello? What? 
Because she gave me no, like, un anything. She just said, hello, Trevor, this is Lupita. I want to be your mom. And I was like, oh, I don't know what that means, but yes. <laughs> yes, of course. You have to say yes. Yes, you, you have, have to say, say yes. The... And then she was like, in the movie. Then I was like, oh, yes, of course. Yeah, of course. Yes, exactly. Um, and How yeah, she's like, yeah, and she's, it's great because, like, you know, you see pictures of them. They're both beautiful women. They're both doing their thing. They're both living in different worlds. And, and it was great because when I saw Lupita in Black Panther, and then I saw how she like kicked everyone's asses. I was like, oh yeah, that reminds me of how my mom used to whip my ass. <laughs> I was Perfect. Like, That's it. You got the part. Yeah, I grew up in Wakanda with a woman like <laughs> like you know, whipping my ass. I was like, this is it. This is perfect. So man. I'm so I'm excited for that. You know.